Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. Today we taste the Glenglasso Torfa, three years old, a uh, young one from the yeah, reopened, uh, revived distillery Glenglasso uh, at the Moray Firth situated. There is a lot written on the Glenglasso distillery, and I already uh, took a video about the evolution single malt where I talked a little bit about the financial investor uh, who took over the distillery and reopened it and finally sold it to Glendonach Ben Riach, conglomerate of distilleries which is owned by a South African company. And uh, well now those three reopened distilleries are together in a company and this will help this whiskey to spread over the world. Uh, Glen Glasso established 1875, quite a late distillery. Torfa, richly peated, non-chill filtered and natural color. Torfa uh, comes from the Nordic language <clears throat> and before the Celts moved into Scotland, uh, which were driven by the Romans from the southern part of Germany over Ireland into Scotland, there the uh, Nordish tribes had their harbors and uh, fought against uh, <laughs> the newly invading uh, uh, Gallic people. Um, yeah, Torfa, Glen Glasgow Distillery standing on the Moray Firth coast at the edge of Sandant Bay is a distillery which lay silent and forgotten for over two decades. Uh, heritage stretches back to 1875 and the distinctive fruity character of its whiskey is loved by all who discover it. After being mothballed for over 20 years, production was restarted in 2008. The first whiskies from this refurbished distillery are now available to single malt scotch whiskey lovers everywhere. I visited the distillery in 1994. Uh, the where, uh, the Still house was open. I was able to visit the, the still and look into the stills. They were open, um, but the warehouses were in full use and the distilleries from the near town of Dufftown, the final, uh, the, 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 the hidden capital of uh, the whiskey industry. Uh, Rome was built on seven hills, Dufftown was built on seven stills. They matured their whiskey in those warehouses and there was a, it was busy at the distillery. So the refurbishing of the distillery just concentrated on the still house, not on the warehouses. They were close to perfect. At Glen Glasso, an in addition to the traditional production, we also produce a very limited quantity of whiskey using richly peated malted barley as the cereal till. The malted barley has been dried in the traditional way over peat infused kilns, giving the whiskey its unique smoky flavor. Hmm. Where have they got the Peated malt from Glenglasso has no kiln, no working kiln. I suggest they received it from a, a big malting facility. There are a few in the islands. Glenglasso Torfa, with its peaty phenolic nature, is a unique expression and is quite different to the usual style of whiskey produced in the islands. Toffa, referring to the Old Norse word for peat, is a brooding, edgy character whose personality is to be found at the darker end of the spectrum. Color, gleaming yellow gold. Yeah, quite golden. The bottle is close to empty. Uh, we had a tasting with this bottle and there were uh, lots of attendants in this tasting. So the people liked it very much and I received this bottle from the distributor as a gift. Thank you for that. Nose, vivid, sweet, soothy campfire smoke and sea air infuses zest of lime, apricot jam and ripe soft fruits, all gently warmed by hints of stem ginger and cracked black pepper. Palate and eloquent sweet it's a bad print here. 
This E is quite difficult to read. Sweet coastal peat smoke engulfs candied peel over melon. Candied peel over melon. Never heard that. Pineapple and roasted red apples. Old biscuits, hints of heather, honey, and gentle cigar box spice. Now, if you open a cigar box, I uh, smell that. I like that smell. But uh, a burning cigar, I hate that a lot. So, all those burning tobacco is not mine. Sorry for that. Uh, all combined to give a terrific balance to the expressive smoky character. Finish a heady yet elegant harmony of distinct coastal peat and striking spice fruit flavors. 50% ABV, non chill fil filtered, and natural color. So, this one is the very last today. So, I decided to take this one as last because it has 50% ABV, the strongest. Uh, it is the youngest, which stands also for strong, uh, and is the mostly peated and smoky whiskey among the tasted. So this should be also tasted at the last. So all those uh, characteristics ask for taking this one as the last one. Oh, smoke. But not this phenolic medicinal smoke, no. but this campfire smoke or bonfire smoke. So it's a little bit higher oxidized smoke. And then there's fruit. But I can't say whether it's apple or pineapple or melon or candied peel of whatever. It's fruit and it's covered by all this smoke. And if I have to to say a ppm value for this smoke, I would suggest 30 ppm, not more. Uh, this is because I'm able to smell the fruitiness in the beginning. More intense smoke will, would cover everything. And there is a hint of, of the sea air, mm. if it's Yodine or Borit or whatever. It's a hint of this phenolic smoke also. Strong, intense on your tongue, attacking the tip of your tongue, spiciness like ginger, all of this coarse pepper, black pepper. <laughs> and I put the glass aside because it was so strong, it was just the finish of the whole day for me. So I said, well, everything's gone, but no, there's more to smell when you taste your whiskey and you swallow it, then the aromas go up in the back of your nose and there have been psychologists and uh, olfactorists and professors uh, who found out that if the tastes come from the back into your nose, then they are more rewarding. This is evolutionary conditioned because what you swallow has to be good, otherwise you won't survive. Ooh. And then uh, your nose uh, triggers to your, uh, your brain and says, that's it, good one. And this second nose you take after swallowing your whiskey is very important. Because now your brain says, you swallowed it, it has to be good, let's look for more into these aromas. Now there's this hint of this baked apple, but I do not find the pineapple. I also do not find the oak.
Ah, the oat. The oat. Cookies. No honey. The cigar box, probably. So, enough for today. Thank you for watching whiskey.com and stay tuned. There's more to come. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please feel free to share this video with your friends.